Wow. That was a privilege to hear you play. Um, I hope you realize how fortunate you are to not only be a part of such an incredible ensemble, but to have someone like that to be able to teach you and show you the way. Um, this was such a, a wonderful performance. I mean, there were so many things. Um, I, I wish there were more things that I could tell you, give you suggestions to help you, because that's what I'm supposed to do, is to help you improve. And really, all I want to do is sit and listen to you play so I can learn. Um, the phrasing, the color, the imagination, the richness of tone, the dynamics, the expression, the blend, the balance, the authority, the color, it's all right there. I mean, it's just, it's such a privilege to hear, uh, to hear you play. And it's so wonderful to hear these beautiful, beautiful sounds. Um, what, what was really remarkable, and I don't, I don't know that you can truly appreciate this, was to look at a score and everything on the score was exactly right there. You have put such an enormous amount of work into details of the music. And what I appreciate is the details you've looked at were not done just because they were details. They were the details you needed to do to make the music come to life. So it wasn't contrived at all. I mean, if it said it was mezzo piano and it went to mezzo forte, you could actually feel the change immediately. There, there wasn't any doubt. Uh, you people play with such confidence and, uh, and, and such uh, class. It's, a, it's really just wonderful to hear you play. I, I, I wish I could go to more of your concerts, but I live uh, 8,000 miles away, so it won't happen too often, but I do hope I get to hear you play more frequently. This was, it was wonderful. Um, I, I'll, I'll try and find a few things to help you, since I know you're continuing to go on and do more wonderful things, and ev everywhere you go, people will love you or they're out of their mind. Um, in bar 10, uh, these are going to be the, the tiniest little details, but that's where we're, that's where we're at now is touch-up paint, okay? Um, in, in bar 10, make sure on the suspended cymbals that you let it continue to ring. Don't dampen it at all. See the little line after it? That just means let ring, and what's going to happen is your sound will eventually evaporate into where the woodwinds and the horns pick up that tune. So it'll just shh. It'll fill that void. So I, I felt like it, it, it rang, and I don't know if you stopped it or, or whatever, but don't, don't stop it. Let it go. And the same thing's going to happen around 97. So just let that sound go there. You phrased this so nicely. Now, this was your first thing you played on the stage. And if you could do this again, I have a feeling you might do that crescendo just a little differently at bar 9. It was a little forced. And at first I thought, it's really good crescendo. But then when I heard you play later, I thought, that was not their best crescendo. If you, knowing now, and as soon as you felt the hall and could see it, you probably would have done it a little bit differently. But do let that, the, uh, the, the suspended symbol ring. Let's just play that uh, section there uh, if we can. How about at bar uh, three before 10? Three before 10. And. I might actually pull, just because it's me, I would probably pull the first note a little bit more. But the way you did it was great. Don't change a thing there. That was just me. Um, measure 50, bar 50. I keep remember saying bars to you guys because we say measures in the States. At bar 50, and there are many places like this in the piece where you'll have, you'll, many of you, not all of you, many of you will be playing mezzo piano and then all of a sudden will go to mezzo forte. I want you to consider what the composer might be thinking there. Why did he have you go to mezzo forte? And in some cases, I felt like we might be making the mezzo forte just because you were told to do it. So what I want you to think of is, what does mezzo forte bring to this piece? It isn't just an increase in volume. It has to be an increase in something else, too. Um, so don't, uh, the mezzo forte just means a little stronger. Uh, that strength doesn't necessarily have to be overly evident. We, we want, we want to, sometimes we want to feel things more than hear them. And this was a case, I kind of wanted to feel the strength more than necessarily hear it. Let's play 47 and just play with that a bit. Ready? At 47. And. Okay, okay. Everybody, 47. Ready? And.
I actually look at that mezzo forte as a color shift, that it changes the color. The other thing I look at is the shape of these little miniature lines. Da da da, da da dee da. I kind of see a little bit of a line there that you might want to just play with a little bit, it, just to play with the audience a bit. Let's do 47 again. And ready? And. <laughs> Seventy-one. I'm not sure if we missed the triangle there. It was just hard to hear. Who who's doing triangle there? Let me hear that. Now, do the same thing, but hold it up here. Yeah. You don't have many choices on triangle. Soft, loud. And this isn't loud, but don't hear it, hear it in this case. So I would bring it up just a little bit, especially in this hall. Uh, what else can I tell you? 116. I look at 116 as being a timpani solo. It doesn't say that, but no one else in the world's playing. I would go after it a little, just a little more aggressively because the band's building up to this bum, 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 you! And I'd like for you to feel like you are the top of their crescendo. They're in, their entire existence is to do nothing but to glorify you in that measure. <laughs> okay, so when you get there, you can really play it out. Let's take it together at faster. It's 113, where you have that. Ready? And. <laughs> right, now, tell me, on that timpani part, what's the most important note out of that whole thing you play? What do you think? I agree, but you can't tell from listening. Bum, 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 bum. Take us.